It's one thing that I don't really love about my job. UX designer, one thing I did realize is that you are in a lot of meetings. It's one thing that I don't really love about my job. Today's especially bad because I won't have time to really eat lunch. This is very unusual. It doesn't happen often, but I, for some reason, am like scared. I'm like nervous that I can't eat lunch because I turn into like the devil of hangriness. My biggest rule is like, I don't like to eat at my desk during lunch. So I'm gonna have to break that today. Just to give you a sneak peek of my meetings. So these are all my meetings today. The blue are like real meetings and then orange is like kind of for myself to where I'm like, don't disturb. flow format so I need to make a call and I need to consume data to better understand my customer the problem that we have today is that it is not easy to achieve those goals today we will not be showing any finalized naming or content visual explainability of it uh, and when I say that I mean like the color palette are we using an icon what kind of icon that will not be included and then the layout of the design itself will also not be included and they're still exploring and considering various options to test and gain insights from users that will ultimately help us flesh out and increase that design fidelity it's got out of a triad sync um, if you know don't know what that is and like every company has a different phrasing for it, but here it's engineering, design, and product management. We talk about what we're working in the week, what we're prioritizing. This is where becoming a UX designer also can be a little tricky because you have to have conversations with two other teams and like you're all very much equal and you can't move forward if all three of you align. Luckily today I feel good. <laughs> I feel good about the direction that we're going in. Um, it's really clear. I'm gonna work on three sketches because I need to get those done by tomorrow. Engineers are going to look at it and try and assess the level of effort. Once they figure out this is really high level of effort, this is medium, this is low, we can prioritize that based off of customer value and impact. And basically the quick wins would be the ones that have high customer <laughs> impact and low engineering effort. Are you okay, mister? I also want to show you the best tool I've ever used for wireframing. Obviously, besides pen and paper, once I do that, I like to put them into digital tools. And this is the tool. It's called Excaladraw. It is like life-changing for me. This really helps my workflow out, and I've also been able to tell teams like, what the vision is, what I'm looking to do. And then from there, if we get agreement, then we can put them into Figma and move higher into Fidelity. It's okay, are you feeling a little better? It's, it's so weird how that works. I had the same thing like two weeks ago. Yeah, no worries, no stupid questions here. And that's the thing, like I wanted to kind of gauge or get a temp check from you too. Like, okay, cool. Did you just want me to run through the bullet points or did you have any questions before we?
right, so work is over. I'm going to go out to dinner at this new restaurant in San Diego called Choi Choi's. Also, this is my outfit. If you'd like to watch more videos about how I became a UX designer with absolutely zero experience, make sure that you watch this video next.